Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Clarissa Shields here in London. Excitement building once again. We're here once again in London. You ready for Saturday night? Yes, I am. Very ready. Do you feel like you're more ready than you were those three weeks ago? Have you been able to use those three weeks to get in better, better, better shape? It was five weeks. Five weeks. And, um, of course, you know, I think anybody who didn't take advantage of the extra time just don't really know about being a being a great fighter. How are you able to, to use that? Is it mental preparation as much as physical preparation for those sort of things? Um, it was it was great to use it for just just to add more and build more because mentally I was already there. Um, it, it just had to make sure that I didn't um overtrain and that I didn't get too upset about the postponement. It's like it wasn't a cancellation; it was postponement, and but it but it felt like one. But like you had to just keep your mind together and just you know move on basically so often we see fights postponed or cancelled and it's months down the line that we see them again how much of a, a positive is you is it to you that it was just five weeks and now you're back here once again uh, it was great like they decided the day of the cancellation like when the postponement would be and i thought that, that was just excellent you know for us and i just was like all right cool you know so we know exactly the time we have exactly what we got to do and um i just was like it's october 15th now Fighting in front of British fans, obviously, did that last time out in Cardiff. What's it going to be like in that arena, and what, what sort of crowd are you expecting out there? I'm expecting a very neutral crowd because I have a big fan base here in the UK. So people are saying they're going to be hostile, they're going to boo and stuff like that. At the end of the day, I'm going to be hearing my walkout music. So if the fans are cheering for me, thank you. If you're booing, then you just don't you don't understand how 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 great this fight is and everything that I've put on a line to be here. But um, I'm not worried about the crowd or or really anybody. Even if there is some booing, is that the sort of thing that will motivate you to put on an even better performance? I probably won't even hear them. But at the end of the day, um, I got a huge fan base here, and I'm not worried about um, the uh, crowd because I'm gonna take them out to fight early in a fight anyway if they're cheering against me. Do you think this is the sort of fight that could really increase your fan base? Obviously, you've got a huge fan base over in the U.S., but over here, the fans haven't seen you that much, but there's going to be a huge amount of fans in attendance that could really grow your fan base. Well, I disagree. I fought in a million seen me over here when I won the Olympics 2012. And then to be able to come back here and now still be professional, people still know me as the 17-year-old girl. And that's why this fight is so big. Like, I don't think people realize how fast 10 years has flown by. But uh, so many changes and everything has happened in the past 10 years. And um, I'm just excited to be back here. And um, I know that my fan base will be bigger after I leave here, for sure. Just picking up on what you were saying there, do you think people will be a little bit surprised by the progression at all? or For sure. For sure. I think that um, I'm not the same fighter I was 2012, even 2016 or 2020. I'm, I'm a completely different fighter every year. Every, uh, every fight I add something new or, you know, take away a different habit. So I'm a, I'm a complete fighter, but I have a lot of things in the toolbox that I use to win. And, I, and if I have to use all of them to win, I will. When you think back to 10 years ago, did you think like an event like this would be possible where you're at the O2, it's an all-women's card, it's a live on Sky Sports, it's, it's huge? Nah, 10 years ago, this didn't even exist. I mean, it didn't even exist when I turned pro five years ago. I think with all my hard work and Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, Michaela Mayer, all of us just kind of like fighting the big fights and, demand, and making our small demands to get to where we are and building our brands has got us here. And we've been able to show that women's boxing is at a very, very high level. Where do you think the next step is for women's boxing? Because it's only going to increase in popularity. Where do you think it goes from here? I think women's boxing goes to superstardom. I think that we're going to have our superstars, our mini superstars, our regulars, but they're going to be able to build themselves up. I think that women's boxing is getting super close to being um, to equality. Where like we get paid like the men, we fight on big cars like the men. Um, we we headline where men are our are, are undercard. I think women's boxing is going toward that after this. During this process, during all the press and everything, you've been able to be up against Savannah Marshall in the press conference and everything we've seen. Has your opinion of her changed from the start of this to what you see now? I don't try to have an opinion of her. I think she, you know, I still think she's stupid. I think she's disrespectful. But at the same day, we are fighters and she's a champion and I'm a champion. And I respect 
you know, her skills, and I respect her as a fighter. But um, if somebody throws stones at me, I I throw stones back. If you go low, I go lower. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. It's all, it's all a mental game, though. It's all a mental game, and I've been uh, and I've had the edge so far. Do you think your mental game is far stronger than Savannah's? It's not no thinking to it. I know for sure. A 17-year-old girl that can win the Olympics after losing two months prior, her only boxing match, mind game way stronger than Savannah Marshall's. Finally, before I let you go, you're going to be asked this hundreds of times today, but your prediction for Saturday night? I'm going to knock Savannah Marshall out on, up on, on October 15th. That's my prediction. I don't know what round, I, I, I don't know when, but, I, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be able to break her in there. First, I'm going to break her mentally, and then I'm going to break her physically. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time, Clarissa. Of course. Thank you.